For some, it'll be a shock as big as a banking collapse, as Hong Kong's financial community learns the meaning of nipping out for a quick bite. To become more competitive, the Hong Kong Stock Exchange is extending its trading hours, and that means squeezing its generous two-hour lunch break. Initially down to one and a half hours, and then to the miserly one hour most other workers enjoy. If you look at the trading hour for those uh, uh, major financial centers in the world, I think the Hong Kong trading hour is a, a bit short. Upmarket eateries favoured by the business crowd are gearing up for the change. In the heart of the central business district, Alfie specialises in the lunchtime trade. It's crazy, it's the most troublesome and exhilarating part of the day. Quick lunches that for some will get even quicker. I can only dread the thought that it's going to become more intense. Two blocks away at Zuma's, the sushi chefs are sharpening their knives in readiness. Yeah, these guys are probably the hardest working sushi chefs in Hong Kong, that's for damn sure. Great knife skills and, and they really do understand the same thing, that, that people need to be in and out. But for many of Hong Kong's more traditional brokers, lunch is for wimps because the lunch break means work. <laughs> they have traditional practice to meet with the clients during lunch hour and also normally will uh, take place in a restaurant and that will last for quite long, so two hours may be appropriate to them. The upside for those in finance is they have to endure less of the lunchtime protests, which are still staged every day outside a number of the city's banks by people who lost out in the economic crisis, a crisis still blamed by many on them. Of course, quick lunches are nothing particularly new in Hong Kong. Traditional Dai Pai Dong street stalls such as these have been doing it for years. Not exactly the first choice of your average banker and broker, but if there's another financial crash like there was a couple of years ago, it could be noodles for everyone. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.